Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Um, in this video we will talk uh, or we will answer uh, the Muslims claim regarding if Jesus is God how come he do not know the judgment day? Well b before I answer this, if this is the case it's mean your God cannot be God too because in the chapter of the moon your God he said the judgment day is near and the moon is split. Which mean your God he claim that the judgment day started when you say the moon is split it means it is starting because the moon is splitting it was a sign of the judgment day and when he say near you know in Arabic uh, uh, the word danat danat is sa the, the judgment day is near is near and what happened there's something follow right away the moon is split so the word danat was first and the moon split was next now supposedly according to Muslims the moon split already which is false and that is proof that Islam is false religion too uh, the Muslim they post for you a picture from NASA for a valley in the moon we have tons of valleys in the earth doesn't mean the earth is split it's is stupid to say so because if the moon is split for a second just for a second the earth will be destroyed a flooding will cover all the earth if the moon is split for a second, you can you can call NASA and ask them, ask any scientist. Because that will lose the balance, and that will will, will generate a lot of a gravity to the water of the ocean. So even if the if, if the moon did not split two pieces to the point they are too far and they, to to uh, to get away from the from each other and hit the Earth, even that is not did not happen. What should happen in the time of Muhammad, if this is true, the Earth should be covered by a flood all the earth uh, so when the Quran says in that chapter the chapter of, uh, of the moon verse number one the judgment day is near and the moon is split if your God he knew the judgment day he should not say that because he will go 1400 years is gone and it sounds like this uh, this false uh, guy he, uh, we hear him in the radio he claimed to be Christian he was saying the judgment day in, in May 21st something like this your God is the same guy that like those false people he claimed the judgment day is near and the moon is split the fact it was an eclipse and Muhammad he thought it's the judgment day this is why your prophet he used to pray hard when there is an eclipse because he don't understand it he thinks something bad happening it is judgment day now we will read together the verses in the Bible and we will see that Jesus Christ what he was saying is the following by the way this is our website debate TV you can go and visit it if you like to watch videos in there uh, feel free uh, the site have a lot of uh, videos and uh, important stuff you know we are I'm posting more and more stuff and you can visit my other website it's called debate TV that org too and uh, by the way we have a website the same as Facebook so if you like to communicate with me to send me an email uh, uh, if you like to send me an email you can go to friends shelter you know friends shelter simply it's a website we created the same as Facebook because you know the Muslims in Facebook they keep uh, uh, harassing people who they keep harassing people who you know uh, expose Islam so if you want to log in the website this is the website you can go and log in we have a lot of people there uh, you can go and simply if you do not want to create an account you can use your Twitter account your Facebook, your Gmail, your Yahoo, and don't worry, secure. Uh, 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 you know, nobody will know what is your uh, um, password it's because you are logging through those uh, uh, companies. You are logging through Gmail or uh, whatever those uh, things. Actually, there's more you can use to log in. So if you have any of those accounts, you do not need even to create an account. You just log in, and uh, you will be able to uh, to uh, communicate with me and other Christians in the website. This is a this is 100% Christian website, but others are welcome. But you have to be careful. We do not tolerate stupidity. So uh, this is a friendly website for Christians. You want to be a guest in our house, you have to be polite. Uh, so uh, everybody is welcome. And by the way, this is how you can uh, listen to my radio station too, uh, my radio debates. You can click at debate TV shows and here you will see a radio you know and you can listen to the all the shows we have in there and if you want to call me in Skype when I am in online 
on a on air sorry uh, you can you can click at this Skype but be sure first that Skype is on you click in it and then uh, you will be able to, uh, to 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 call me using Skype if you wanna listen to the radio now we have many sh uh, many shows uh, simply like you can click in here that so as as you see the radio start and you will hear the last uh, show we had uh, in in uh, last time we have the radio on usually we have a show every saturday like tonight uh, tonight uh, uh, we have a show too this is me and uh, and the brother Osama Daktok, I think all of you you know him. We do the show every Saturday together. Uh, Osama Daktok is the one. Uh, he he have a ministry, and he is the one who translated the the Quran and the, his translation called uh, the generous Quran. You see the sound is very clear. It's good quality. You see, the quality is very good in the radio, and in the same time, in the, during the radio time, you can chat with me by clicking here. But because now we don't have a live show, there's no chat. Uh, so you know, feel free if you like. Uh, and by the way, you can listen to many episodes, like not only the last one. Uh, like uh, if you uh, uh, if you want to see more episode, I think here we go. You click in here. Is going to show you each episode you can go and see next you can see next you see me we have a lot of episode and you can choose any one you want you click in it and you can play uh, the show at that time and here we go when it's, uh, it's going to open and you will listen to it they will not hesitate to spend their time to pray for me like i saw a prayer in youtube a prayer saying may allah kill you it's <laughs> uh, very beautiful because Muslims they remember, you know, not like Christians, they don't. Uh, so I appreciate all the Muslim prayer. Very, very nice prayers and very nice people. Uh, at the same time, if there is any Muslim would like to call us and share us in the show or to debate us, maybe, uh, our phone number is 347 857 1380. When you call, speak with the secretary which is going to be so anyway uh, this is uh, just to give you an idea log in into the site make a username you know and uh, feel free to enjoy it uh, when, uh, and by the way when you log with Facebook account if you log with Facebook account you will be able to communicate with Facebook directly from the site uh, try it and, uh, and anyway you know you will not lose anything and you will be able always this, the good thing about this website actually uh, when Facebook they, uh, dis they delete your account, let us say the Muslims they they f flag your names, uh, uh, they uh, they cause you to lose your account or somebody. If you have a, a friend list in here in this website, and all your friends in your list in here, you can update them in one second about the new account you have in Facebook. I hope what I'm saying is is uh, is clear. All what you need to do. You just tell them, okay, guys, I have a new account because one one click you send an email to everybody, or you, you do not even send an email. You can send you post something in your page. It's the same as Facebook, and all your friends they will know where exactly to find you. So this way you can keep always your list and you can keep your friends. Now let us go back to our topic, and answer regarding uh, do Jesus in you the judgment day. <coughs> if we go to Matthew 24, and this is where those people they they talk they take the quote. Uh, and they quote the words of Jesus and they say he will go Jesus is God but he do not know the judgment day and they will show you uh, this as example they say Jesus he said there in that chapter uh, but of the day of that day an hour knows no no man no not the angels of heaven but my father only okay uh, so what what does that mean supposedly uh, what the Muslims try to take it they say okay but Jesus is God but he is saying to us the only one who knew the judgment day is the father so Jesus do not know uh, you know 
in, in an appearance way, this is a true. Jesus saying only the Father knew. But at the same time, the Muslims, they ignore the whole chapter, which Jesus telling you when the judgment day is going to come. And they concentrate all in this verse, where he says only the Father knew. What Jesus in here is saying is sim very simple. We Christians, we do not believe in a preset time for things to happen. We do not believe in destiny. And God, in the same chapter, He is telling you, there's things have to happen first, and when those things happened, then the judgment day is going to happen. Which means, I will make it simple for you. Let us say, I have a bunch of people in front of me, and I am saying to them, uh, let us say I have a farm. I say to them, when you build a house there, and you have 1,000 trees there, and when you open that road there, and when you clean that thing there, then I'm going to pay you your salary. I did not give them time how long they will do it. I told them, when you do those things, when those things happen, I'm going to pay you. Because I decided not to make a preset time. Not because I do not know. The Father, he did not decide yet when the judgment day is going to be. Somebody will say to you, so he do not know the future. This is not about the future. And this is not about knowing. This, you know, the, the funny about knowing the future, this is about knowing our future. His decision he made it when he wants. God, he don't have a past, he don't have a future. His decision, he made it in the moment. So, what he's telling them, in a very simple way. Let us read together and show you the hypocrisy of Muslims. Actually, you know what, I'm not going uh, to read for you. I will play the chapter uh, uh, with, with, the, with audio, so you can hear it because, uh, you know, uh, uh, we wanna want somebody, his English is perfect, not like uh, mine, you know, mine have an accent. And uh, uh, let us see together what the Bible is saying. And we will see that Jesus is telling us exactly 